in this game, we're going to look at how we can use variables to make a simple game. I'm going to run this program and explain how it works and then go back and do it step by step. So I'm going to run this. I'm going to press the space bar. It's running, so it's asking me what is 11 times 8. So I'm going to enter the answer, and it says it's correct. 2 times 7, what is 2 times 7? It's 14. I'm going to put a wrong answer, uh, put, let's say 15. So it says sorry, um, and then it reduces the points by one point. Uh, if I answer the next question correctly, it's going to give me a point here. Okay, so it's basically, it's in a forever code. So this thing's go on forever. Well, let's look at the code here. So here we have the control uh, when space bar is pressed. We're going to set the points to zero, which is this one. This is a variable. Then inside the forever control, we're going to set our first number. You can call the variable anything you want um, to a random number from 1 to 12. You can change that. And the second number, I call the variable ants1 and ants2. You can call it num1, num2, whatever you like, to a, a variable between 1 and 12. Again, you can change them. They are independent. Then it's going to ask a question, uh, which is this. Now, I use the join operators from here. And I joined these words and variables. So um, you can put a join inside a join inside a join. Okay, and uh, so it's right there. If you look for it, you see joining two words or two variables or number, whatever you like. In this case, I have what is, and I put a uh, space after what is. You can change that. See, there's a space in there because that's that refers to this. Now, I put the next thing is my first variable, which is my number, first number. And I put space times and then space because I want to have a space here and there and my next number and then a question mark. And then I put the if statement here. And so if the answer to this question is the first number times the second number, and I got that from here as well, is one of the operators, um, then say great for one second and change the points by one. So the, the points go up by one. Else, that means if the answer is incorrect, say sorry, try again, and then change the point by minus one to reduce the point by one. Okay, so let's actually go and make this. So I got a new, uh, fresh uh, document. So uh, obviously you want to go to controls. Um, no, I'm sorry, events. Um, how do you want to start the code? Like how do you run the code? So either by clicking the green arrow or one of these ones. So for example, I could say when the space bar is pressed, the space key is pressed. Now, I need a variable and that's, obviously I need a code variable. So I need to go and make a variable. I'm gonna call it points. So my points variable is here and it's showing there you can move it anywhere you want. So if I uncheck it, 
I won't see it, but I do want to see it. So I'm going to put it there. I also need uh, two more variables. One is my first number. I'm going to call this num1. That's my first number. And make a third variable. I'm going to call it num2. You can call it anything you want, something that's easy to remember. Well, I don't need to see them uh, here, so I can check them off, or I can check them off later. Okay, so not a problem. So I have my variables here. So the next thing I need to, um, to do is to um, set my variable to a random number. So I'm going to go to operators and this code. Okay, so a number, any number you like, between 1 and 100, between 1, I'm going to use 12 here. So every time I click that, I get a random number between 1 and 12. Okay, and I need to set my variable to to that random number. Okay, so I'm going to put that inside. And my variables, well, which one do you want? I want num1 to be a, a number, a random number from 1 to 12. I can do the same thing. So basically, I can actually duplicate this. So num2 can be also a number from 1 to 12, but uh, it's random, So and they're also independent. They're variables, that means they're not constant. Uh, it can be any number from 1 to 12. Okay, I have that, that's pretty good. And then I want uh, to ask a question. Okay, under sensing codes, there's the ask question. So I'm going to ask a question in here, but my question has words as well as variables and so how do I do that so I need to go to operators and use the join uh, code so we look for joining um, different items like in this case two words but they, it could be anything it could be numbers words or variables so here you are so I have that so I'm going to ask what is, and I put a space after. Um, so the question is, what is the first number times the second number? And I need a question mark. Now I need um, more join codes. I need actually a few. So here you are. I'm going to put that in here. Um, I need one more, maybe two more. Let's see. So what is space, this is going to be my first variable, first number, and the numbers are here. Number num1 is here. Okay, I need this one to be, uh, sorry, what is, I need that, num1 space times space, because I need space, um, num2. Now, if I want a question mark, I need to join again. So here you are. So I'm going to put that here. I'm going to put that in the first, and question mark there. Now basically, this will make a sentence. What is that random number, the first random number, times the second random number? Right, so here you are, so I have that. I'm gonna put that in the ask code. Do you see that? So as you ask a question, well, there is an answer, right? So here you are. So now I need an if statement. If statements are under controls, control codes. So here you are, if, if then, and else. Okay, here you are. So 
now I need to go to operators. I want um, if the answer is equal to something, right? So I need um, this. That's equality. Okay, so if the answer is equal to, well, equal to, now this thing is going to be, uh, the answer is going to be num1 times num2. So I, I'm going to look for a multiplication. The asterisk is multiplication. So I'm going to go to variables, num1, so number one, times number two. Now this thing, I'm going to drop, drop it in there because it's going to be a, a product of these two variables. Now you see it's a hexagon there. The shape, this shape is also um, a hexagon. It's a condition that has to be met. So if the answer is actually number one times number two, then what, what do I want to happen? Well, I want um, the character, my sprite, could be any sprite, but in this case we have the default one, to say something. We want to say, um, so the say is under looks, say good job, anything you like, something to encourage the person, good job, um, and then, well, how about just half a second? You don't need to be long, it takes too long. Um, so here you are. And But also I want the point to change. I want the person to get an extra point. So let's go to variables. I'm going to change the variable by one point. So let's see. Uh, it goes underneath that. So if the person answers correctly, the points, or you can call it scores, whatever, goes up by one point. But what if the person answers incorrectly? Well, so else means anything else. Okay, so if the answer is not correct. If the answer is not correct, then perhaps we want to say, sorry, try again. But also we want to um, change the variable, the point, by one. So the person loses one point if they answer correctly. If you decide to do that, now obviously you don't have to. Now, losing a point would be minus one, one point taken away. So that's that. Now, we want this to repeat, so it's not a one-time thing. So we need to go to control and use a forever code. Now we have, okay. Now, actually, this has to go inside, inside the forever code because we want each time the numbers to be selected. So you go through the random selection of numbers. Um, that's it. And But at the beginning, I need the points to be zero. So, so I go to, again, variables set set the points to zero okay so the points are set to zero and then we do a forever code here picking two random numbers and uh, the, pr uh, the sprite will ask uh, what is the what is the answer to this multiplication right so well let's uh, try this I'm going to press the space bar it says what is three times six. Now, you can see num one is three, number two is six, and it says 
And then if I answer correctly, 18, it's a good job. What is five times one? Let's say I answer incorrectly, 10. It's going to take a point off, so I go back to zero. Oh, it didn't do that because I somehow I forgot to change that to points. I want the ch points to go down by one. So let's try this again. Three times 11, 33. So I have two points. Four times 11, let's say wrong answer, 40. So that should go back to one, the points. Yes. Yeah, it went back to one. Now, I'm also going to change this to point 0.5. So it's faster, um, it doesn't take so long. Now, um, you could uh, put another if code there, like for example, if you want uh, the game to kind of end if they reach a certain point, um, you could put another if statement in there and it works like this. Um, So if is there, like for example, if say if, let's put that here, if, um, now remember this is a hexagon, so I need to go to operators, if the person who's playing in this game, the, po the points, if the points, so I'm grabbing the variable points equals, let's say, 50, for example, or 10, okay? And then maybe something you want to happen. For example, say, you win. Now, this one you can, ch instead of uh, two, you can put a really large number, so so it doesn't restart. Okay, so I'm gonna put that again inside the forever. Okay, so that's it. That's step by step. So just remember one thing, that variables are just that. Okay, they, th they're values that can change. So, and also the other thing is, obviously I don't want the, um, these two variables to show. So when you go to variables, I'm going to check them off. So basically, computer's memory is going to remember the variable, right? And, um, and you can use those variables in different parts of your code. So in this case, for example, I had two random numbers. One was the first variable, one was the second variable. And the other variable was the points because it, it changes. It's not constant. If the person answers correctly, they'll get an extra point. And if they don't answer correctly, they lose a uh, point. So it changes. So the computer remembers these. And um, we have to name the variables. And we have to set the variables to, in this case, random numbers or uh, and so on. And in this case, we set the points initially to zero, right? So, and that should be outside the forever because we don't, to start the game, we want it to be zero. To continue after that, it, it can change. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a great time. Bye now.